What's good, YouTube? Uh, here with my buddy Dakota again. Oh yes. And today uh, we're that excited. More delicious beer. Yeah. Um, this time I'll actually let you get a word in on, <laughs> on your thoughts of the beer uh, instead yeah. of rambling so much. Today uh, we're excited to get into uh, Founders' um, new Imperial Brown Ale brewed with Sumatran coffee. It's called Sumatra Mountain. It's nine percent, forty IBUs. Um, and I think the name of the beer kind of describes what everyone's expecting. Um, is this sort of like a spin off their breakfast style? Do you know? I don't believe so. Well, I I, I know it, it kind of has that vibe to it. I don't I don't know if maybe it could be a base recipe that they just yeah, added. They just say bubbles, added, so. added some matcha coffee to. But uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so let's get an aroma. All right, first impressions. I get a lot of stout on it. Um, even though it's not a stout, it's an imperial brown yeah. ale. But you get this, the same sort of character you would in a, an imperial stout, so that's pretty yeah, enticing. Pretty oh, I get a lot of the coffee, too. You get a lot of coffee, a lot of nut. A bunch of chocolate I pick up on. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, like a fudge. Some body to it. I forgot to mm. cheers, man. Sorry, I was too excited to drink it. Yeah. I was too excited to try it. Yeah, and I, I get a lot of coffee, bro. I get a lot of the Sumatran coffee. I get, um, the mouth feels nice. It's sort of that, like, that chewy, velvety sort of mouth yeah. feel that you'd expect from an Imperial Stout again. Again, it's a bag end. Yeah. I have that milky sort of texture to the beer. Pretty nice. And it drinks pretty easy too. It doesn't drink nearly as as boozy as an imperial stout, which no, I like about it. It doesn't taste like it's it's, fair, it's it's super smooth. Like I said, it has that. It is only forty IBUs though. Yeah, well, I think they. I think I, I was reading a re review of it somewhere else, and they said that uh, um, they didn't want to overdo it with the hops because they didn't want that that big bitterness that you get in an imperial stout. Oh, yeah, but. Uh, yeah, that's a great beer. It's only a one one time release, isn't it? Is it like an anniversary beer? No. I don't know the story behind it. I hope they're going to release this again. They've before. Oh, have they? Last okay. year. Yeah. Actually, last year, whenever Tyler and I went to 50 50, this is all we would drink <laughs> when it was on tap. Yeah. Yeah, this is a solid beer. I'm, I might have to go pick up some of this again. Oh, yes. But, um, anyway, uh, on Untapped, I'm going to give this a 4.7. Uh, definitely pick it up again, recommend it to you all, and drink great beer. Uh, hope you all, beer. Yeah, I mean, like, seriously. Uh, but, uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great week, and so cheers. I'm a little bit of actually. I'm Get some goosey. Probably as it warms up. Yeah, yeah. I'd expect that. It's good, though. So, anyway, everyone, have a great week and cheers. Cheers.